Welcome back, it's Mistgum here, and we're going, we're playing more, uh, Zarvat, a game about cubes, and we're gonna go see Red's home. We just got done acquiring the Metal Ice Cube. So now we're gonna go check on our very depressed friend, Red. If she even answers the door this time. Hope Red's home. Knock, knock. Knock, knock, and then ring the doorbell. <laughs> Red's still not home. Was Red kidnapped? Should, we should look for Red. Eh, she's probably just sleeping. What if Red's gone? She's probably not, but there's always that chance. I'll text Red. It'll be fine. Let's just head home. Red will respond by tomorrow. Oh, putting together that mixtape. A lost art of love. If I say so myself. Heck, it was lost during my time. Almost. He still uh, put out CDs, but all I had was a cassette tape stereo. So all the ones I did were still on cassette tapes. Like, true 80s, 90s kid. Red hasn't texted me back yet. No worries. Just work on the CD. CD's the easy part. Boom, boom, boom. Bet they're all gonna be love songs. Too many songs to choose from. Do I do I have to choose the songs? Just give it the soundtrack from your This one's too emotional, so it's not a love not a love thing. It's a good song. Okay, halfway done. Really? We have to sit here while he makes a mixtape? Okay, finished. I think it'd be good. Burning disc. Burn the disc. Here's the C D. Let's take a listen. Solo. It's actually not bad. The music on this game is excellent. Absolutely excellent. I wonder if that's one of the things you can lock. A, uh, chapter 9. Baskerine Galleries? Oh, it's raining. Is this another memory? It's still open. Did he fall asleep while listening to the mixtape? Oh, I can shoot. Ooh. Oh, hey, what's this? Happen House. Happen House. Happen House. Versus set unlocked. Nice. Keep following these lines. See where they lead us. Is that lava? No. Wait, did we enter Tron? Is that what we're doing now? That was a game about cubes. <laughs> I love when you use a dash meter, it only sends you like a little bit. Oh, the art design on this game is absolutely wonderful. Look at that. That is beautiful. The orange. Ooh. Now blue. Red. There's a jar. Is that you? This is a very messed up dream. Oh. That is absolutely wild. <clears throat> wait, 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 are those dead bodies? Are these all the things I've killed? Crazy, crazy game. Weird. Oh, 
Oh no, what do I do? How do I get off? Do I come back this way? Yeah, that's what it looks like. What are these things? I've, I've got to say, I've never been a fan of dream sequences in a game. But this is pretty wild, man. Red and bright. Morning. Sounds of when those dies. Ooh. Yeah, let's just get on through these guys. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Break out that big laser. I hope I'm going the right way. <laughs> in here now. Whoa, what are these things? Oh no. Get rid of everything first. Oh, he got me. He just barged into me. my dead cute body. <clears throat> oh, how do I defeat this guy? Ow. That's how. Oh, man. You gotta kill him with the side laser. That's the only thing strong enough to beat him, I guess. regular stuff. It just takes a lot of freaking hits. Okay. Man, the sound coming out of this. Awesome. Me terribly. Oh, it's like a mini boss battle. Okay, he's got a health gauge. I didn't notice the health gauge. I just assumed. That it was like the wave boss meter.
Oh, thank goodness. Ooh, got some moolah for that. Let us get out of here. So, dream about red in a jar. It's no longer raining. <clears throat> hey, new record! And a new rank of C. Boo! Remember we got an A on the first one? Remember how nice that felt? How bad it's been getting? Oh, so I guess that was the boss battle for the CD. That we made at home. Where there's no enemies, except in our dreams. This is worrying. Still no word from Red. We're almost done with the present. They really worry about themselves a lot while worrying about someone else, don't they? <laughs> it's just terrible. Terrible practice as a friend. Morning. I'll say, I'll say, morning. No, I don't want to go back to bed. Good old lamp. Is the lamp the thing against the wall? Because this looks like a lamp. But he looked at that when he said, good old lamp. Anyways, let's go hang out with Mustard. Much prefer to hang out with Ginger. She wasn't depressed, but she was happy. But, Red's a friend. Always got to stick with your friends. Even the dumb ones like Mustard. Black rice fields. Sounds scary. It's very spooky. But there's a boss there. <laughs> with a 100% drop rate of skateboards. Oh, oh, we get a rare one. <sighs> skateboards, my favorite part of the present. So rad. Yeah, we since we used her skateboard present last time, and, you know, Mustard's eating got in the way. Chapter 10. Black Rice Fields. Uh, should we continue with this episode? I think we'll break here, because this is going to be a long one. I can feel it in my bones. No, we'll keep going. That's creepy. And the only reason we're going to keep going is because the one beforehand was super short. Ooh. Black rice fields, should they be something other than frozen? So no rice doesn't work well being frozen. But yeah, there's tons of frozen enemies. Wonder how they could have got there. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. These trees are a little creepy. Still not that creepy.
Oh no! Oh no! Heal me up and let me go. Oh, great. Awesome. Now let me go. <clears throat> this game, I tell you, <laughs> it's easily spooky, too. What is there to be scared about? I mean, look at this game's rating. There's <laughs> there isn't any blood or gore. What about horror? Existential horror. <laughs> I don't have to have a guideline on that. Another fourth wall break. I like it. Oh, you can use the triggers to do stuff too. I've been using the buttons, but you can also use the triggers. That's cool. For anybody who has a play style that they like. Okay, here it goes. Careful with that red wave, though. Still hurt me. Wow, we're getting through it. Woohoo! that skill oh nice get to this creepy old boss friend I'm just saying I hear the boss is really spooky what's the worst it can be don't say that no yeah don't say that never say that whoa what are you oh their weapons go through their shields huh not gonna lie that's gonna be It's going to be kind of troublesome. Is this the boss? Yep. 
yeah, those things aren't aren't very bad at all. <clears throat> and we're getting better with the radius thing. kills their shield. That's always a plus. <laughs> Look at me go now. Spooky forest. Boom. Mustard is just me. Chomp something. <clears throat> it looks like you get health back. Which is a good thing. Ooh, I think this is the boss. Think we're there. It's getting dark. I want to go home. Come on, you're totally safe up there. But I can see everything. Everything! You're scary when you can see everything. I find that statement to be true. Oh, Shoot my dead body. Oh, I'm stupid. <clears throat> now we have to go through all that again.
to get better at this. Man, y'all are tired of me watching me play this game, aren't you? I'm tired of watching me play this game. At least sucking at it. This game is awesome to play. Lucky. Oh man, I'm sorry I'm not talking. <laughs> I'm just having, well, existential horror. Who would have known mustard would have been right? Oh, oh finally. Cleared that wave. Jeez, how much longer is the boss? Here it is. This has to be the boss. That was too difficult for it to not be the boss. <clears throat> and I promise this, guys, I'm going to try to get through it quickly. See? I just said barely. Okay. No.
get on out of here. There's it. There it is. That's the way to do it. Ooh. All right. No talking from mustard. This has got to be the boss. Long, spooky walk up to him. And a long, spooky stairs up to him. Okay, yeah. Agreed. Creepy. <sighs> oh no, I'm in a cage. Oh, a skeleton. Oh, it's a skeleton. <laughs> that makes sense. It's a skeleton box. not that hard he just has some tough mechanics around him it's not hard just tough mechanics and that I spent too long thinking about uh, using a chomp on one of the minions he spawns after you do enough damage to him <clears throat> to recover some health but it turns out that was the wrong way of thinking no. Can't be attacking down, I've gotta be attacking up. Cause I just can't see well enough going down. And once you're on that last little bit of health, that uh that haze and fuzz that sets in like your, you know, visions going dizzy kind of a thing. Really? So I can go through his bullets on his last phase, but not on his first phase. It's stupid. I know what I need to do though. I'm going to spend the entire first life. We're going to get it this time. And we're going to go about it very methodically. A little low. Gotta get rid of all these. 
because they impede my movement later on. And can't have that. Okay, now let's kill him. Oh, so he just wants to play behind the walls. And then I'll destroy every single wall there is. And not take a... I was going to say, not take a lick of damage while doing so. It's already been 20 minutes for this episode. Man, I've been trying to keep these episodes between 15 and 20 minutes. But I don't want to leave in the middle of a chapter. And I didn't think the G... A. I didn't think the dream sequence would take that long. And the way we've been rolling through bosses... I honestly didn't think it'd be that big of an issue. But it's only a skeleton box. We shouldn't be afraid of it. Come on, I jumped over it. It's a wall. But I should have never been in that position anyways. Because I'm terrible at this game, man. And you want to see the end of Zarvat, and I can't get you there. But still, this boss isn't nearly as hard as the past couple we faced. My shield block those bullets. I guess we'll try that out now. Thank you, maybe. They do, nice. Okay. So that's what we're gonna do. Gotta build up a chomp and wait for him to get an enemy out. Okay, we got an enemy out. Like that, grab that health. Okay, good.
get past it. See, once you started applying the walls, the walls, forget all about a mechanic and just screw it all up. What were we even coming here for? Why were we even here? What do we need? This isn't where you get the banana. So we got the banana last time. Sure as hell wouldn't from... Oh, it was a skateboard. Look at that. So fresh. Whoa. So much pop. Look at that graphic. Red will love this. Red will love this. You gotta do it correctly. Oh, let's get that skateboard up there. Perfect. Amazing. So apparently it can be a skateboard that's taller than them. Like you shrink it down to like a little finger skateboard. Put it in the deal. I used to have one of those uh, little finger skateboards as a kid growing up. Absolutely loved it. One of the best things ever. Mm -hmm. Really hope a red's home. But I think our premonitional dream shows that she won't be. Red's gone. We have to look for red. Oh no. Wait, what? Look, the door's open. <sighs> Let's see if red's inside. Murder, suicide, abduction, kidnapping. Red's not here. No. Where would Red go? <laughs> We're the worst friends. Couldn't even get the present ready. <laughs> and now Red's gone. Hmm. Oh no, we forgot the... We didn't grab the special thing for that level. We didn't find it, did we? I don't know if we did. I'm gonna go look for Red. I think I might know where she went. Chapter 11. The Glow. The glow! It's dark. So very, very dark in the glow. Anyways, that's where we're going to end this episode for today. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Zarvat. I think it should be like eight or nine now, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Maybe. Who knows? Anyways, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Comment down below. Tell me what you actually thought. And, uh,. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Other than that, enjoy the videos now and in the future. See you later.